G'day viewers, my name's Dave Lonigan, Arctic Film Productions. I'm going to be presenting to you a series of documentaries on climate change called Earth on Fire. I'm returning to Greenland to capture more footage of the glacial ice melt into the North Atlantic Ocean from the Greenland ice cap. Now, Greenland, I'm sure you're familiar with it, it's the world's largest island. It covers an area roughly 2.166 million square kilometres. So that's three times the size of the state of Texas in the USA. The distance from north to south is 2,670 kilometres and the width, 1,050 kilometres. Now, two thirds of Greenland is above the Arctic Circle. 80 to 85% of the land mass of Greenland is covered by an ice cap. Now that ice cap varies in thickness. The average thickness of this ice cap is 1500 metres, so 1.5 kilometres in thickness. Now the thickest parts of the ice cap it's up to 3.2 kilometres in thickness, 3200 metres in thickness. Now if the entire ice cap of Greenland was to melt into the North Atlantic Global sea levels would rise by 20 feet. Wow. Now, something to think about. The distance all the way around Greenland in total is 24,600 miles. So that's almost the same distance as the equator. So the potential for this ice cap to melt into the North Atlantic via peripheral glaciers is quite high. That's a problem. Now another thing to think about is that massive parts of Greenland, the rock actual, the actual land mass itself, right, is below sea level, below sea level or at sea level. So as this ice melts, hmm, potentially got another problem. Now the Greenland ice cap is only second to the ice cap in the Antarctic southern hemisphere. We'll talk about that later. Now ice caps are formed from snow, sits on this, it, it basically gets compressed down over time, forms into ice and builds up over millions of years. What's happening is the equilibrium of replenishment and melt is changing because the air temperature and the ocean temperature has changed through human habitation, through global warming, greenhouse gases, the up the atmosphere, it's all increasing. The ice melt is increasing over time. Now, in 2021, for the first time ever, there were recorded rainfall, precipitation, rainfall, not snow, in central Greenland. Now that's a big worry, because it's ice, rain falling onto ice, think about it, it's gonna melt quicker. Now also I got sent from an associate at NASA, he sent me some data a while ago, 2016, 2017, 18, 19, the uh, winter temperatures in Greenland, highest ever. So January, February, March, May, April, which is their winter, the highest temperatures ever recorded. Because the air temperature is increasing, so as uh, uh, air temperatures increase, the ice melts quicker, obviously. Now. I'm going to report back to you from Alulasat, which is here, Jacob's Haven Glacier, Eki Glacier. We'll get some pretty good footage of the, uh, the, the glaciers carving into the, the North Atlantic Ocean. Greenland really is a fascinating place, and it's, it's really, uh, uh, it's another world, basically. Um, we're also going to travel into central, by helicopter, into central Greenland, to get some footage of what's forming as there's huge freshwater lakes forming in central Greenland on the ice mass. Uh, obviously, it speeds up the whole process. And I hope you'll, uh, I hope you'll stay tuned and keep watching. Thank you.